I hope you're all well. So you can see I've got a glass block in front of me. I've done lots of tutorials using glass blocks. I get all my glass blocks from glassblocksdirect.co.uk. Now normally I use the clear ones, but I've actually got some wavy ones. And I want to try and do a few different things with them. Today I'm actually going to make a fake fish tank. I have wanted a fish tank for ages, but I've wanted it for the wrong reasons. I want a fish tank because I want to annoy Bisley and I want to give him something to kind of occupy him a bit and get him thinking and obviously using real fish for that would be incredibly cruel because it's just not for the right reasons. So I'm going to make a fake fish tank and actually these are perfect for it. I love these glass blocks, whether you get the clear ones or the wavy ones, they all come with pre-cut pieces in them, so you don't have to worry about using diamond drill bits or anything, they're already done for you. As I say, we've done lots of tutorials on this, we've spray painted them, we've added vinyl, we've done stained glass vinyl, we've done a family tree, we've added lights into them, so I just wanted to do a few different things. So we're going to start with the fish tank first. So I just wanted to very quickly touch upon the costing of these. So these wave ones are actually £3.50 each. Now I normally order my glass blocks in blocks of 10. That's just the way that I do it. Now what Glass Blocks Direct have actually said is if you order over £50 worth you will get £5 off which I think is brilliant. You can see I'm at my computer and I've got my image here. Now this is going to go on the back of my glass block. Now unfortunately my glass block is about 7.5 inches by 7.5 inches which is too large for print and cut in design space. So I'm going to do it all just via my Windows photo program and I'm just going to print it and then manually cut it. Now because it's going on the back of my glass block and we are using clear printable adhesive today, I'm using the Filmic which is from GM Crafts but you can get it from eBay, Amazon, wherever. Now I am going to want to mirror it and I would normally do that in design space but I'm actually going to just do it through my editing program. So I'm going to come to edit and create, I'm going to go to edit, I'm going to go to crop and rotate and I'm then just going to flip it and that is essentially mirroring what we do when we mirror in design space. So I'm then going to go to done and I'm then just going to save it. So if you do find that you've got a image that you want to print that's larger than print and cut and you're happy to cut it out manually, if you do need to have it mirrored, that's how you can easily do it. So we're then going to send it to our printer. As I say, our block is 7.5 inches by 7.5 inches, so I don't want to print a full page. I'm only going to print an 8 by 10 inch page. It's not going to give me a lot of leftover, there's not a huge amount that I'm going to do with that leftover, but it will reduce my ink slightly. So it is well worth, if you can reduce it down, it's well worth having a look at, at the photo sizes you've got and working it out from there. So we're then going to go and print. So these are the self-adhesive inkjet printable sheets. GM call them Filmic, but if you just type in self-adhesive inkjet printable sheets into eBay or Amazon, you'll find others there as well. You'll see we've got a matte paper side, and then we've got a glossy side as well. You want to make sure that you are printing on the glossy side. So that's all printed out now, so I'm just going to give it a good 10 minutes to make sure it's completely dry because it is an inkjet, so I do want to just leave it for a bit. So that's completely dry now, so I just need to come in and trim it up. So I've got my Cricut trimmer here. So the first thing I want to do is I say the blocks are 7.5 by 7.5, give or take. So I just want to work out where I want it to sit. 
So I've got some paper transfer tape here, so I'm just going to place it over. I'm then going to scrape from the front, and I want to make sure that I scrape really well because I don't want any air bubbles. I'm then going to scrape from the back. I'm then going to remove the backing. I can then come and place it on my block and I'm going to trim it off afterwards. So I'm just going to come in and place it. I'm then going to go in with my scraper and I'm going to give it a really, really good scrape because I don't, as I say, want any air bubbles. So I'm just going to go in with my scraper and just really, really scrape that down. I'm then just going to come in and remove my transfer tape. And I'm then just going to get a craft knife and just trim all the way around. I then like to go in with my fabric brayer and again just make sure that we've got no bubbles in there and it's nice and lovely stuck down. I've then got a few aquarium bits which I'm going to add into it. I've added some water in here and then I've got one of these fake swimming fishies and I'm going to add that in there and then we can go see what Biz Biz thinks of it. 